Sky, Nathan Tannenbaum with just some of the stories coming from the Las Vegas Review Journal in print and online. Look for continuing coverage of the two big stories from last week, the sudden death of entertainer Danny Gans early Friday morning at his Henderson home. We're awaiting autopsy results as well as whatever word might be forthcoming from Steve Wynn about the future of the now vacant Danny Gans showroom. There's been speculation that Whoopi Goldberg might be headed for the encore stage. And the swine, or H1N1, flu. Do we know anything more about the potential Nevada case samples sent to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention in Atlanta? Details as they become available. Known for years as a fierce advocate for the right of anybody who wanted to feed the homeless, against the wishes of the city of Las Vegas and even other homeless advocates, Gail Sacco hasn't necessarily done a 180, but in a feature piece coming soon to the print and online review journal, you'll read how Sacco now works to get the homeless off the street. Also coming soon to the newspaper and the website, a look at Margaret Pickard, a teacher in the UNLV Office of Continuing Education, now with a weekly radio call-in show about divorce and family-related matters. Pickard's also an attorney with a long record in the field. Now the weather. This is shaping up to be the warmest week of the year so far. The National Weather Service said Sunday we may be in for what they called a meteorological barbecue, with most every valley neighborhood headed for the upper 90s by the end of the week under abundant sunshine. And yeah, triple digits are possible in some areas, though not yet expected at McCarran Airport, the official weather station for Las Vegas. For breaking news 24-7, you're at the right spot. ReviewJournal.com.